Hi everyone, this is Lyle from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. In this video, we're going to set up an experiment that will help you discover what types of melting ice contribute to sea level rise. Maybe you've heard that melting ice adds to sea level rise, but did you know that it makes a difference where that ice is? Take a moment to think about the types of ice that can be found in nature. Make a list on paper or in your head, then sort it into two groups, ice that's found on land and ice that's found at sea. Now think about that ice as it melts and predict which type of ice, land ice or sea ice, will add more to sea level rise while the ice melts. With your prediction in mind, let's get started setting up your experiment. You'll need a few things. Two identical clear plastic containers about 6 by 6 inches. If you don't have that size or they're not identical, that's okay. At least try to find similar containers. You'll also need some clay about enough to make one to two inch tall chunks that will represent land in each tub. If you don't have clay, try using some small rocks that you can pile up in the tub and place ice on top of. That brings us to our next item, ice. Having a full tray of ice will be helpful. You might not need all of it, but if you have that much, that'd be great. Then get some cold water, a ruler if you have one, and a marking pen if you have one. Take your clay and press equal amounts into one side of both plastic containers, making a smooth, flat surface representing land. Again, if you don't have clay, try piling some small rocks into the tub to represent land. In one container, put as many ice cubes as possible on the flat clay or rock pile. This represents land ice. In the other container, place the same number of ice cubes on the bottom of the container, next to the land. This represents sea ice. Then pour cold water into the sea ice container until the ice floats. Make sure none of the ice is resting on the bottom of the container and that the water isn't higher than the land. Without disturbing the ice cubes on land, add water to the land ice container until the water level is about equal to the water level in the sea ice container. With water in both containers, carefully measure the water level in each container, in millimeters if you can, and record that data on a piece of paper. If you don't have a ruler, you can use a pencil tip to make a line in the clay that shows where the water level is, or you can also put a mark on the outside of the containers with a marker. But keep in mind, the ink might not come off. Now it's time to be patient while the ice melts. While it's melting, make regular measurements of the water level in each container, maybe every minute if the ice is melting quickly, or every five minutes if it's melting slowly. Keep recording measurements until the ice is melted in each container. For an added challenge, graph your data, either on paper or using spreadsheet software. Now that you've collected your data, think about what your observations mean for melting ice around the planet. In which container did water rise more? Why do you think that occurred? How does that compare to your prediction? Based on what you observed, does the melting of Earth's glaciers on land contribute to sea level rise? For more details on this activity and links to other sea level and Earth science projects you can do at home, visit the URL on the screen or click the link in the video description.